all your school rugby all in one place. This is Next Gen 50. Join us here on pitch two at the first kickoff, nine o'clock. Denston versus Dulwich. I'm Tom Reed, and joining me here is St. Joe's old boy, Wilf Kemsley. Hi there, Tom. Yeah, fantastic game of rugby to get us up and running in Group One. Yeah, England under 18 international. And Denston themselves go for the more, and they're driving forwards up to the line, and it is a try. The first try goes to Denston. Wow, how. Incredibly powerful was that driving ball. We just saw Denston give it a go from inside their 22 as they look to exit. And in this short format, these points are so crucial. Not a lot of time for either side. Great connection off the boot. Great kick from the touchline there. You think they'll crash over here as Clark takes contact. Surely over the line and yes they are you're not stopping a side of that physicality from five meters out so kicking off the second half here Dulwich Kicking it deep into the 22. And Denson looked straight away to kick back and try and find some space. Be pretty confident that he can make this kick. And that he does. The flags go up for the assistant referees. See what kind of magic Denson College can uh, whip up. Great line. Great footwork. Well, that's Joe Dixon that goes streaming away. What a lovely score. Oh, Dulwich wanting to make an impact at the end there, wanting to make a dent into uh, Denston's lead, but unfortunately, well, unfortunately for one team, not so unfortunately for Denston, but they've managed to get themselves over the line. Some great footwork. He backed with such precision. Nice little idea there, just caught his leg as he's tried to step forward. As he's caught it, as when he's dropped the ball. And that is full time there. So a dominant performance from Denson in their first game here. Marlborough College who are laying a marker down. Brand new to the St. Joseph's College Festival for the 36th edition. Three points up against the mighty Kirkham who have really established them selves on the school circuit in recent stay years. Up, stay up, and Sometimes. Oh. Well, Kirkham have come storming over. I don't see exactly who scored it, but it could have been straight from the tap. I think it was, and yeah. It's, it's Darren Lowe who's gone straight over, it seems, the number six. Short release, Walmart release. Just short the line. Back foot, hands up, hands up. Ball is still theirs, and they do, they get over. And they manage to get their second try. So you watch the replay here, as you can see, just diving into the corner. Darting towards the line, only inches short now. Again, picked at the base. Once again, short. Now they look to go to the wide channels. And there's an overlap. And there's a try to shore this game up. A difficult kick, but Marlborough's very talented number 10 might have it in them here. Great decision just to go wide. It was a two on one in the wide channel. As you can see, yeah, on the replay, they're just cutting the gap between those two defenders. It's a good strike. And it's Pierce the uprights. And Marlborough College have equalised against Kirkham. Some really talented players on the chopping block, and it's Millfield who will get us underway. Claimed well, and what a tackle right off the back. There, short. And this time they're over. And it's Millfield's number seven who spotted the space on the short side. And they go quick. 
through the number, number nine. Red scrum at seven to the bin. And once again, Millfield find themselves five metres out. And they touch down once more. Who trips to the red zone have left Millfield ten points to the good in this first half. It wasn't actually on board, he went down. Plenty of players to go from, to pick four for Millfield. Nothing. I've got nothing either. Gents held up, would be a goal on drop And held up is the call. And that will bring an end to the first half. Millfield have escaped unscathed in this opening half here on pitch two. Millfield are 12 points up as that kick goes straight out on the full once more. So it'll be a scrum Millfield put down by the Millfield front row. Hands right yes, right. Newcastle. Let it come. What a big contact come. that was. And it's yes, on wide you. here. There's plenty of space for Millfield to run into. And that is a great score by the number 14 for Millfield. Yeah, great How job, are man, you boy, today, boy, Mr. Will Roberts? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, thanks, Wolf. Um, keen to see that uh, Millfield is certainly making their mark. I mean, it's to take, uh, but uh, with Millfield's performance at the moment, it just looks like they may be the unstoppable force. Mm. And we've got uh, uh, RGS High Wickham against Brighton on this pitch. Uh, a really strong group, that group four. It's going to be difficult to see who wins. Milford go herring away down the side there, and they have just scored an outstanding try. It was some absolute wizardry to it. Have a look at the work here from the number 19. Gets it a bit of space and just flicks it over the top. Lovely footwork in the wide channel. Excellent option to go to the boot. And we're early days in this competition, but perhaps a um, where you end up. Um, so it, it means that the longevity will be absolutely crucial. Lots still to come, but uh, lots already happened. So if you can catch up by scrolling back and having a look on the live stream at the moment. Now the opportunity to add the extras. Lloyd. It's straight and true and good. Jack Lloyd with three points. RGS High Wickham now lead 3-0. And welcome back here to Pitch 2 here at the St. Joseph's College Rugby Festival 2022. Sorry for the short interlude there. We uh, lost a bit of power on site, but we are back up and running here with our next fixture. Denston College receiving the ball, attacking from right to left on your screens. They'll make sure they can find that. It's a great added extra to ensure these games keep ticking over, moving on, especially in the shorter format at the St. Joe's Festival. It's so it's so much adding to the Certainly to the is. There is. Quite honest strength from Denston there. A absolutely monstrous mall. And they drove themselves over the line for their first score. I've heard the words Denston College, dark horses they might be. What a score for Denston. And surely as well, with a loss of a back rower, Going oh, to Maul is definitely stay. the option they take, and that's what they do. Back, back. And the strength again. Oh, the ball gets popped out. Try. But has it been successful? Try. Yes, it has. Scored. As we just watched the replay here. Oh, it was taken over in the corner there. On your screens. And they kick high and look to compete, and that they do, and they've won back possession. I tell you what, that's a great kickoff. Just unfortunately getting taken into touch there, Will. You'd hope we'd be able to slot this over. Oh, and it hits the upright, and the ball's loose. And it comes forward off a Hurst hand. So unsuccessful, but Denston still have the ball. Just 10 metres out now, short pass to Harry Clark. Still driving Brilliant forwards, try. and what a try. For them, even when that penalty didn't get converted, they go again, they pick up. Keep being strong, and Hurst be a point. They've got a good platform here to get something out of it, and hopefully they do. They certainly have, as they drive forward with the more hit. Strong defence, but it is a try. It's a brilliant try from Hurst. 
ever so strong in that mall. They kept going. Looked like they were going to fall out of the touchline, but found a way to get over. Rugby festival to try and claw back, potentially take the lead. Brilliant kick. Great kick, using the wind to curl it back in. Hello and welcome back to St. Joseph's College. A big fixture here on Will Roberts will Cuts be leading in. you through this one. How you doing, Will? Cuts well, in. I mean, we loved this fixture Final so run, much in the NatWest Schools <laughs> Cup final, we thought we'd have it all again. Trinity versus Kirkham to round you up into lunchtime. I can't roll! Trinity in the microwave and Whoa. format. Still there, could prove Don't to be that. damaging here. There is Roberts out wide now. Walsh gets to spread his legs. Ooh. And that was a, be a yellow, dangerous I shot, I think, from... What's he going for here? R Captain's being called over as well. Yellow for me. What's he given? Yellow card. And you've got to say, I think he's been let off quite nicely there. Yeah, that was a really, really tough challenge in there from Trinity. Friday, across the face. Still going, oh, Trinity. No, no. Can they find the corner? Yes, they can. Already back in it, albeit a man down. And well, a necessary response for Stace. The quality of this game is ever so strong. Seeing Trinity get back into the game almost straight away. Throw, albeit. Not too straight, but uh, referee didn't see that. I Waves think the wind, the wind let that one off. Bellamy, Bonnet. burn across the face. Excellent pass. Superb vision and Trinity pulling strings like Pinocchio. Men in blue and white. Trinity in the St. Joseph's College National Schools Rugby Festival. It was a keynote made at the start of the season when the teams were announced. Games um, to do, um, each as commentators, so it's very hectic. So we do apologise if we get the uh, odd bit of uh, name here or there incorrect. Um, we're trying our best to try and promote these boys as much as possible. Advantage as well, so Friday releases out wide. Big pass over from Bellamy. On a sixpence, out wide for Max Farrell come here and they're doing it they're playing the rugby we know they always do Trinity what a score what a way to make it three tries to the one no oh, we're gonna head into the break I'm pretty sure after this conversion comfortable though as always Twelve and a half minutes till lunchtime. I'm sure that's not what you at home are thinking about, but potentially a few people around here might be. But uh, we've still got twelve and a half minutes of fantastic rugby to be playing, so why complain? Bellamy, right down the Kirkham throats, and if this sits up, then it could be a right pain. It won't. The wind will carry it all the way. So uh, Charlie Reed organising his troops. Strong carry from Wills Austin. Release! Flat ball from Davis. Straight through. And Darren Lowe heads over. Sees a gap, takes it. Brilliant score from Kirk and yes. Grammar School. What a way to get back into it. This is going to be an interesting affair. All unlocked by just really well thought out passes. It's um, a skill within the game that a lot of these boys will take for granted. They probably want excellent at the first oh. time of asking. <laughs> Picture perfect stuff from Trinity. St. Joe's and well, we're all loving it. I hate to quote this, but do not scratch your eyes. This is the best it gets. Kirkham defense. No, this is a really strong pack. One that's tough to get through, but Trinity are finding a way.
It's Quiggs Wakefield up against RGS Newcastle. It's been a tough morning for both of these sides, but uh, into Kelly, short. Back to the short side they go. Hannon with the leg drive Rip, and stripped in the tackle. Rip, the back was is the call. Back foot. Yeah. And touchdown. Anywhere in line with They'll be really happy with that. They deserve to uh, break their way forward. Really patient play, really consistent build up. Exactly what Newcastle would have wanted. Still going is the Newcastle Mall. And they're over the line and they've scored. If I was Will Ponted following that kick, I think that's exactly what I deserve. Following a fantastic bit of play to get Newcastle down into the corner. And this is an excellent first half for our GS Newcastle. towards the end of this first half hung high to a grey and dreary Suffolk sky but that is fantastic work from Stevenson exactly what we expect to see from Newcastle's main man straight from the kickoff and the outflowed out the back one more <laughs> just has so much power so much pace great footwork to get away with his man excellent work with the fend After the to kick, manipulate no. the ball and then yeah, what an offload you. great awareness to send it back Sorry. inside and then just a bit of excellent skill. Really excellent skill from Stan Stevenson. And Will Ponton adds the extras, and that will take us through to half time here. Definitely on there for Maxwell Shield. That's the strongest name of the tournament. Stevenson spots a hole back on the inside, driving towards the line. And it's given. Marlborough College's 3-7 loss to Whitchurch High School really does shake up that group. To add the extras, the ever-reliable Sam Snaith. Simple enough for a player of his quality for his group. Second place on points difference. Picked off the base. Lovely move to free up some space. And Newcastle could be away here once more. It's only going to be Ali Cook. All on his ones. This is just a lovely flowing move. Set piece can be so important at this level. Splits the gap well. Sees off his last defender with the strong arm. Ball is set and the ball is stable. It's at the back with number 16, Harry Wilson. Wilson has it in his hands. Driving all the way to the line. Brought down short. Picked at the base. And that's a try. Base to the ruck. The referee gets us underway. Kick just inside the 22 taken by Hampton. Some penalty. Yeah, it's a strong shove, but it's not a legal one. Hampton have the ball, a lovely offload. Oh. Just watch the replay hit. See, he just dives over and manages to get that ball. And if they do, then it very well could be well, winning the group. Hampton with it still going forwards. Trying to find some space on this near hit, near side hit. Going through, being chased down. But he will not be caught. And it is a try. The handling there from Gullitly. Out wide. Williams, that's a difficult score to finish. He had RGS High Wickham players on his tail. Uh, no, this is Zach Gellerty, and I must praise him. I, I praised Max Cardosi before, the fly half, but it's actually Zach the 12 who's uh, kicking a goal today. And he's nailed that one, so I can say just what a good footballer <laughs> uh, Zach Gellerty is. Out. 
kicked to the wing. Great work between the two, the inside centre and the winger there. Trying to spin it out to the backs, but it's been intercepted. Oh, and it might be a runaway here for RGS. Great pace from the number eight. And it will be the number eight who scores by the 10. And then the pace from LJ Aikenhall all the way under the sticks. Possibility to add the extras. As you can see straight away, RGS are back in this game now. Both teams in need of a in need of a victory. Um, Hurst narrowly lost out to Denston 15-7, so I think it'll be a, it'll be an exciting one. This a good performance from a Denston side that really did put Dulwich to the sword. Yeah. Can use it. Yeah. Dulwich on the back foot Looks already. Flicked wide. Oh, wide. There's, There's one Josh more. Mann. Should do it. Away goes Josh, Josh Mann. Mann. In, for, in, the, in for the corner. It's a great try that. This is a lovely offload here. Once it gets into the hands of Charlie Manger. Charlie Manger flicked on and then their lovely work. Ollie Das, good to utilise the space. And and back to the short Coming side back. once more. McIntosh. And again. Seems to be a lot of space out Numbers wide. Numbers up for Lundberg who's got Cannon inside. Finds Cannon. I think that's Ronan Daniel actually who's gone over the try line for the score for her. Excellent work. Great decision by Nesla to come to the short side. Great work by Tussler. Lundberg's had a really strong game and it's just a really simple finish in the end. Great use and execution of the space. Alex Warren there. Alex Warren shut, shutting down that attack. And now they look to go wide once more. Great offload through contact. And now Dulwich have a two and one to work with. All the way, Dulwich will go, great step. Great fend. Well, this is a fantastic score. It was just juggled and then through the contact. A great offload with options out wide. Just the fend to see off the trailing defender against Wellington. Kick straight down the middle. An excellent nudge. Hands out, eight, roll! Good drive once more. Hurstby point. So close to the oh, line. This time they to Josh Mann. straight through. And that is Josh Mann's second try of the game. You see here, it was a really slow build-up play through the forwards. And then a really impressive little shimmy for the number 10, a great offload to Mann. Who's your captain? It's improvement. In my opinion, I think so, with only maybe a few minutes to go. Short. And it's great work to dot it down from the second row. Most important in a brilliant position within the group standings now. This is great work by Anisa here, just to weaving his way through, not giving up any yardage, only metres out, and uh, good work from Easy dot down. Michaels to spot the space. And I'll be handing you over for and I'll be handing you over for Tom Reed for all the commentary from this game. Um, spinning it out wide, just that little pop in behind on that looping run. And scoring in the corner. To make this penalty count. And the, and the kick is successful. On the prowl, and they come against Quegg's Wakefield. If not.
RAF referee, is yes. that right? Yeah, she's also had her first um, Prem Cup game in the women's uh, premiership, which is great for her. She went down to Sandy Park. Decisions that these young players have to make decide of what is going to be the best option. Nailed it. The success of some of these teams in being able to kick out of their own half. One thing I've been really impressed with is the lineouts. I say oh, that now, a lineout's just away. happened and then they've gone and scored, as they would say. Does so well in their setup, just gets in. The big man gets his arms up there, and it's the number eight for Millfield. It's again, but the arm is outstretched from the referee, playing advantage, but the penalty advantage is not necessary. It's where the advantage comes. Just picked up good strength to turn around. As we look, wait for them to add the extras. <laughs> this time, successful. Sails straight down the middle. No, Held no, here no. now. Oh, and it's broken free. And the try is scored. Just a few things not going their way, unfortunately, in this second half. Millfield certainly done really well, and he just breaks through the middle of them all there. Welcome us back here to pitch two, the final game of the first day here at the St. Joseph's College Rugby Festival 2022. Hampton School versus Brighton College. Just important, I think, that for most teams, the option would have been to try and decide whether they wanted to win first or second. Hampton have got it first here as they try and put the first points on the board. And the flags go up from the assistants. Something, they've had four or five minutes at this. Certainly. And that they there do we go. straight away. <laughs> Shows that they've got such ability within their tackling and their defence to be able to be confident enough to make those tackles to allow them to come towards them I know certainly not certainly not you've seen it so many times and then a good option for the kick there as well on tackle just keeping them short let's go again Ball is still available, did really well. It's such no, difficult. You go, you oh, and there's a try. Have it. There we go. Fantastic. It certainly will. We watched the replay here. Driving forwards. And you see the ball available there. Brought to the back of the ruck. Brighton tried so hard. And a bit extra to help them further. He's knocked a couple over from here so far today. Oh, How about that? A brilliant, brilliant kick from so far over to the left-hand side. 